Hey, how's it going? There's the car in the background, just on the way up to spin a, a new poke stop, and it'll be our third new poke stop, so we're going to get a reward. So we're going to see what the reward is, if it's worth the trek up. We're in a bit of trouble this week with the field tasks. We have three of them, and they're a bit difficult because of the event. Catch three Pidgey or three Murkrow, and the other one is catch three Trico or Mudkip, which is a bit tricky at the moment because the Kanto region Pokemon are appearing a lot more commonly, and unfortunately Pidgey and Murkrow aren't one of them, so... Let's continue with the walk. new poke stop to get our field research task complete and we're rewarded with just a ponytail not a very good one at that so it wasn't really worth it to be honest and now we're just left with catching three tree coat and one kip three pinch or more coat and we're going to spin another poke stop on the way down and hopefully get a nice one a uh, nice and easy one like catch three Sancho or get three great draws so let's head back and uh, await tomorrow's field research task
So, there's a level three raid at the local church, so we're gonna head there now, and hopefully, it's gonna be kaboot tops or an annex. Fingers crossed. I think I've earned that after such a bad encounter Pokemon and a reward. So, let's go and see what it is. So, we're still in Friday. It's currently quarter to nine. Just been out doing a Bobzor raid and thankfully at one of the puppet stops there was a Meowt uh, which gets us our next field or research task completed. Uh, but we're going to save that until tomorrow because I think we're going to be stuck on Mudkip and Trico for quite some time. And I've only got one Pidgey or Murkrow from the other field task. Um, so I'm going to collect a reward tomorrow, Saturday, and then spin a puppet stop and then see if any of those are quite easy. If they are, I might do them earlier in the day and then spin a puck stop later in the day. Because um, possibly tomorrow I might be able to get a couple of Murkrow uh, or even a Pidgeot. I know Pidgeotto are a bit more common uh, in this event. So we shall see. So we're kind of one step ahead right now. For tomorrow, we can just collect the stamp. But uh, we definitely need the event to end to uh, pick up a couple of Trico or Mudkip. Uh, around the town, hopefully there might be a pub stop, so we shall see. So stay tuned to tomorrow and see how we get on. See if we can get some Pidgey and Murkrow. Why would I ever be asking for those? So check back in with you soon. So in the early hours of Saturday night, we claimed our reward for catching Tree Me Out or Skitty. Uh, was treat me out and our reward was a Pokemon encounter which turned out to be Growlithe. So the rest of Saturday was spent trying to catch some Pidgey or Murkrow. Unfortunately because of the Kanto event it did mean that Gen 1 spawns were appearing more often so Murkrow was quite rare and unfortunately I think Pidgey is often nerfed during these events because it does appear everywhere anyway. Um, but thankfully we caught two Pidgeys and we did manage to get a Pidgeotto at home. So our encounter reward was a Numble. Uh, also during the day I did claim a few more field research rewards. Unfortunately when spinning the Pokestop the new uh, task was to catch three Marker or three Pidgey again. Um, so that was a bit of a pain in the backside. But anyway, let's get on to Sunday. So, Sunday was community day, which brought around a lot of excitement in town with other trainers uh, coming out to try and catch a shiny Mareep. Um, field research tasks during that day were mainly catch three Mareep for various rewards, so that was quite easy. And we did also collect our field research stamp for that day, and we caught the normal. So it's Monday, and we're still stuck with catching three Trico or Mudkip. We haven't caught any of those for the last week or so. And we also have win a level 3 raid boss or higher. And also during the day we spun a puck stop and it gave us battle a uh, gym, which was grand. So that was fine for Tuesday. So on Tuesday we still had catch three Trico and Mudkip, battle a gym. We did spin another puck stop and we did get another field research task, which was to battle a gym. So might as well do two of those in a row. So let's see how we get on in the battles. So Wednesday the main uh, task was to defeat a level 3 raid boss or higher, we went for Alakazam, he had future sight. We also collected the reward for making 3 great throws. <laughs>
now we're back to Thursday and our task was to make two nice curve balls in a row, which we did. Our reward was another number. And then we went on to collect our mole trays again. So this is our third mole trays. Uh, we tried an AR again. Unfortunately, this seems to be a bug with AR because mole trays just wouldn't stop attacking. Uh, we did get an excellent throw and the ball was up here. Mole trays was here. Uh, totally bugged out. So we had to turn off AR plus switch back to the normal method. And we did manage to catch a fairly good mole trays again. So until next week, when it's probably going to be mole trays one last time, I'll talk to you all soon.